Parent of a weird kid, how did you react when you realized that your kid did weird slash creepy stuff? My kid is into nature documentaries. Very into nature documentaries. One day, when he was 3 years old, my wife was getting his bath ready. She was bent over the tub, checking the water temperature. My son shoved his face in her ass, took a huge whiff, walked away and said ahh. Dominant female butt. I have since realized not only is he into nature and its beasts, but he retains almost anything he sees while watching those educational shows. He is also most likely going to be an ass man. He's not my kid, but my godson is extremely creepy. He likes to stand in his little sister's doorway while she naps and watches her sleep. I ask him why and he says, it's the closest I can get to seeing her dead. He also likes to shove her fist in his mouth as far as it can go, because he wants to know what suffocating is like, just in case. I'm pretty sure he'd be a serial killer, if it wasn't for Mario Kart. Edit, he is 8. She is 5. He hasn't done as many creepy things lately. It was mostly right after she was born, he had a hard time adjusting. He still says the odd weird thing here and there but nothing as bad as what I mentioned above. His offhand comments are much more innocent. Such as I'm going to sell you on Kijiji, and I'm going to sell you for a quarter, and ask for change to his sister. Also his character in Mario Kart is always Yoshi, and although he is unhealthily obsessed with the game, he's an otherwise normal 8 year old. When I was supervising her in the bath she stood up, dropped her washcloth in the water, stood on it to push it under the water and menacingly whispered now think about what you've done funny in hindsight, but at the time I was a little concerned that my daughter tried to drown a washcloth. My kid is a classical musician. We are the village idiots, so I have no idea where this talent came from, but he is known as the weirdo in the family. Don't get me wrong we are very proud, and there really is nothing quite so moving as listening to the planets live from some major performing arts center. It has been a real education for us. Alas, we really don't fit in when we attend his concerts and we are the weirdos. Not my kid, but my nephew. He's 10 years old and is being taken out of school for homeschooling. He's had major trouble learning and fitting into the classroom in general. The weird kid aspect is this crush that he has on a girl in his class. I hesitate to say crush because it's full on creepy 10 year old stalking. His parents have had probably 30 talks with him about moving on and that this girl does not, will not ever see him as anything positive, and that he needs to get over it. He has seen two different counselors who recommend he be taken out of any situation in which he might be around her, because he's completely obsessed with her. This causes him to have a panic attack, because it's part of his identity. His exact words were, if I'm not the boy who likes then I don't even know who I am. That's me, I'm the boy who likes. He isn't allowed to have any type of electronics that can take pictures because he took his iPod to school and took a bunch of pictures of this girl. His parents are worried about where this will go, so to try and combat it, they have pulled him out of school and he's in serious counseling. He's a sweet kid, but holy fuck, does he have some major fundamental problems. I babysat the neighbor's kids. When the parents went out the little boy, around 6 told me I'm going to kill mummy, and took me to the top of the stairs where he'd tied string across the banisters at ankle level. I don't know if it's creepy, but my son loves fat bellies. When he was younger he used to hug people and smush his face in their bellies. He always liked our fat friends the best. He's 7 now and still keen. I have to remind him that ladies don't like being told they've got a nice big squishy belly. My 3 year old daughter loves old monster movies. I'm in the habit of putting a movie on while I clean the house. I plugged Don King Kong, 1933. Next thing I know my daughter is entrolled. She can't stop creaming what's that? A monster. And crying, crying when Khan kills a dinosaur. I asked her 5 times if she wanted me to stop the movie and got an emphatic no. Since then she's gone on to fall in love with Ray Herrera's and films and Godzilla films. She cries her eyes out every time Mothra leaves Earth and Godzilla vs Mothra, the battle for Earth. My wife was concerned that a 3 year old actually enjoys crying and watching movies that make her sad or scared. I just shrugged and found some old Kong and Godzilla toys on eBay. When her friends who are girls come over she tries to get them to play monsters. They look at her, like they have no clue what she's asking. 
I was a weird kid myself, so my only hope is that I can convey to her that there is nothing wrong with being into things other kids aren't. That it makes her unique and cool and interesting. My son has said that when he kills someone he'll put their body on the train track so no one will know they were murdered. And then he said, if anyone saw him, he'd have to put their body on the train tracks too. He was 6. I embrace his dark side. It'll help out a lot in the future zombie invasion. I come home from work one night to find my darling 2 year old blonde daughter standing at the top of the stairs staring up at the full moon in her jammies, teddy bear in hand. She should have been in bed by this time. Not wanting to scare her I walked up the stairs, knelt down next to her, and asked her what she was thinking about. I was imagining she would say something childish like, is a moon really made of cheese daddy? Something cute like that. Instead, she turns to face me with a very serious look in her face, and in a very serious and creepy monotone voice says to me, we are all in the same cage. Two years old. I nearly died of fright I literally recoiled from her, and ran back down the stairs backwards. I couldn't believe it. She said a few more creepy things like that, but it stopped after a while. Update that was 12 years ago. She has since turned into a very happy and well adjusted teenager who is only slightly in league with Satan. I've told this story once, before on a similar thread, so here it goes. My kid hid a dead animal, it's escaping me what kind am I the bird or squirrel. He kept it there for a long time, till it began to stink up everything. When found I thought oh shit am I raising a serial killer. I watched him closely for years. He's fine now, in college, good grades etc. If he's a serial killer I have no idea. My kid has been the weird kid, since about 2 years old. His favorite bedtime stories were the user manuals to my appliances. At 3 he became obsessed with human biology, and would watch open heart surgeries on YouTube. He was also obsessed with vacuums, for 4 years. He would spend hours in department stores demonstrating to shoppers how to use them. At 5, his summer plans was to teach himself mechanical engineering and physics, I could go on. When he turned 3 years, when I started to suspect he was different. It scared the fuck out of me. He was my firstborn, so I had no idea if he was developing normally or not. His thirst for knowledge became extreme, and I didn't understand how to handle him, so at 4 I sent him to a child psychologist. I was terrified my son would have a nervous breakdown, because although he was so young, he never, I mean never once in his life, played, all he did was learn. The psychologist made it clear to me that he was gifted, but that I had to force him to play, otherwise he would develop OCD and other disorders. I'm trying to make this short. He is 8 now, and still different, but he does play. Sometimes. I'm happy he is who he is, but I can see that he has a difficult life ahead of him. He doesn't have many friends, mainly because he would rather discuss the news than some new game or toy. I can say this though, I don't think I'll ever meet another human being who is anything like my son, and I love that about him. He's unbelievably interested in bugs of all sorts. In second grade, his class was learning about bugs and their body parts, thorax, abdomen, etc. His test asked him to circle all the pictures of bugs that had mandibles. He got a point off for not circling a mosquito. He went and talked to the teacher, and told her that the mosquito has a proboscis, not a mandible. She gave him the point back. Edit, it's me, I'm the weird kid who likes bugs. All these weird stories reminded me of this thread about shit kids say. I was visiting family for winter break in Los Angeles. This was about 5 years ago. I was heading to the bathroom on the second floor of my aunt's house, when I saw my cousin, April, on the stairs. April was 4 and very animated. She was busy making funny faces, while sitting on the stairs. I asked her what she was doing. She said, I'm copying the lady with the braid. I looked around, there was no one else but us. I asked, where is the lady, April? She pointed to a beam running parallel to the stairwell. I asked April. What is the lady doing? She said, Mackin funny faces. I smiled and started walking up the stairs again, when April said something that stopped me in my tracks. April, her braids is around her neck. I turned back and asked April to repeat herself. April pointed, the lady is hanging by her braid. She's making funny faces. Then April started making a face which I then realize was it someone gasping for air. <laughs> 